English lightweight hopeful Mark Chikese. He was 12-0 before running into Dracar Close back in 2017. Big win over Joe Duffy in 2019. And a lot of people think eventually Chikese is going to find his way into that top 15. As Chikese has tried to make his way into the top 15, he has had to shore up some of the holes in this game. As you saw in the close fight, he had a lot of difficulty clearing the clinch position. Was not able to get back to the center where he can use his striking advantage. This guy is a very well-rounded kickboxer, has a background in Muay Thai, but was not able to use any of that in the fight against Jakar Close, and it showed because he didn't get his hand raised. But when he went back against Joe Duffy, you saw the improvements. You saw how he had identified the weaknesses and started to work on them, and it led to him getting his hand raised. And I got to think a video game set, a pretty fun guy to play with. Mark Chikese, ready to go here tonight. championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Mark Bonecrusher Dye Casey. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Welterweight champion of the world, Sean Strickland! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. He's looking for that left hand, not there. put his opponent on skates. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Vicious combo there. Couple of chins here being tested early. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. That shot blocked by Jacase. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Big knee there. Nice shot lands downstairs. Back and forth we go. 
Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Under two minutes to go in the round. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Chip Casey's eye is closing up. Oh, nice left hook. No fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. You gotta go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back up. Oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, this could do it. Oh, he is stunned trying to recover here. Pretty significantly near the end of the round. That will keep him in the fight. He goes back to the stool. We'll see to what extent he can recover. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Good body work with that hook. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Another one! Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that. Oh, got to keep pressing here. Inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Sean. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.